Hey guys, it's Captain Forest here, and in today's video, I'm going to be power scaling the Infinity Gauntlet from Marvel 616. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course, feedback is always nice to hear, and make sure you guys subscribe for the content. Also, shouts to Coffee Shop Gang, they make awesome content, their links will be in the description. Also, shoutouts to the HQ Squad, they've been a massive help in my videos, so huge shoutouts to them. Now, if you stick around for, to the end of the video, I will reveal the stats of where the Infinity Gauntlet would be placed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the meat and potatoes of things, but before I dive into the juicy stuff, I will need to cover the misconceptions and lack of context behind the Infinity Gauntlet. People tend to underestimate the power of the Infinity Gauntlet and think certain ranges for it are either outliers or just inconsistencies with it, but that is not the truth. As you can see, the true power and potential of the Infinity Gauntlet is entirely down to the type of user who is wielding it. The lesser feat you see from the Gauntlet comes from the inexperienced users who aren't masterful at utilizing the Infinity Gauntlet to its fullest potential. Characters like Captain America, Doctor Strange, Black Panther and even Gamora demonstrate feats that are, that are very impressive with the Gauntlet but somewhat pale in comparison to the likes of other more experienced and masterful users like Thanos and Adam Warlock who are simply just they're just second to none they're masters they're masters at using the gauntlet and have demonstrated impressive feats uh, with the gauntlet such as the time where Adam Warlock was inside the dimension of manifestation and the living tribunal notes that Adam while using the gauntlet during his confrontation with him would lay waste to the dimension they were in if they fought. I will go into more detail as to why this is very impressive, but I must talk about other things about the gauntlet, some of the feats that some of the other characters have performed like Thanos. So yeah, let's get right into the meat and potatoes of things. So classic Thanos with the infinity gauntlet was able to completely embarrass the celestials and the universal M bodies who were no match for him. Even Galactus notes he does not have the AP to deal with Thanos with the gauntlet. Even the Howl Lord Mephisto admits he would get one shot by the gauntlet and would be no match for its power. Adam Warlock even notes that even with their combined forces, it is nothing compared to the infinity gauntlet that Thanos was wielding. The Living Tribunal notes inside the dimension of manifestation that if he clashed with Adam Warlock who was armed with the infinity gauntlet it would lay waste to the reality so for starters i will need to talk about the in-betweener the in-betweener notes he is everything and nothing a concept of a concept which is easily out of versal quasar describes the drones as infinities and that the embodies like the living tribunal eternity and oblivion the drones are almost human next to the infinities now we look at the dimension of manifestation where there are numerous n bodies each implied to be at the different level we know this because the full scan where this numerous n bodies is stated is when quasar is at the trial of adam warlock something that took place in the oversphere this means the dimension of manifestation contains levels of n bodies not just infinite n bodies we are later told that higher manifestations of embodies are greater infinities compared to cosmos and cubic. Using this, we can say that the difference between each embody is more than an unimaginable difference between the cosmic cube beyonder and cubic, and the fact that cubic notes that there are levels to infinity, implying all of their existence, means that the gap is so massive between classic embodies happens more than an infinite number of times before you get to their true forms. Now, when it comes to levels of reality, Doctor Strange notes that there are beyond infinite amounts. Now again, the dimension of manifestation contains the appearance of all embodies, no matter what level of reality they are. So there is a beyond infinite number of levels to reality, each with embodies at a different level shown as they are at a different level for different levels of reality and it includes over space as such so right off the bat in terms of ap 
the Infinity Gauntlet should have infinite layers into High Altiversal. Very impressive scaling. Now let's go ahead and dive into more of the Infinity Gauntlet and the stones themselves. The user who has access to the Infinity Gauntlet controls all aspects of time, reality, space, power, soul and mind. Thanos has mastery over the Infinity Gauntlet and is the perfect user of the Gauntlet. He would upscale and be above other inexperienced users such as Nebula and Captain America and other lesser users of the Infinity Gauntlet. Now the Gauntlet comes with a number of hacks. They can also be used simultaneously too like the iconic and infamous Thanos Snap which erases you from existence which he was able to perform this on billions of people. In fact the stones have altiversal range at least as it was, wasn't was just affecting the earth and other planets it was also affecting Asgard and its people. It shattered the rainbow bridge and trapped Odin and the other Sky Fathers, preventing them from going to Midgard. Now I'm going to go over the Infinity Gems. I'm going to start with the Space Stone. The Space Stone allows the user to manipulate space any way they see fit. Its most basic fun function allows the user to teleport themselves and others to any place they picture in their mind. It increases the user's speed and allows them to create black holes and manipulate gravity and fly. The user can create portals to spy on people and they can also BFR people via portal creation and the space stone allows them to be everywhere and nowhere at the same time. The reality stone allows the user to warp reality to their wishes and is considered to be the most dangerous gem. Basic functions of the stone allows the user to perform things such as reviving the dead, distorting reality. It's also shown that the Reality Stone can transmutate people, turning, turning them into glass or any other materials. It's shown to create universes and it can also perform plot hacks as the narratives are connected to space-time and the IG controls all aspects of time, space, mind, soul, power and reality. It's shown when Gamora uses the Reality Stone to merge the Avengers soul and fold the universe she then creates a new reality and pretty much seals them in that new reality as the heroes are changed and the reality stone also contains the world pool within which contains multiple realities and narratives inside the stone. The user can also bend and affect the fabric of reality and it can also erase people from existence, it can heal wounds, it can perform sleep hacks and the, rea the reality stone is by far the most versatile stone out of the others. When combined with the time stone, it allows the user to view the actions of others and all possible which which will take place, and it allows them to stay steps ahead. Now moving on to the time stone, the time stone allows the user to stop time, reverse, or fast forward time. It can age people to an old person or reduce them to an infant. The user can create time loops and loop themselves in time which they will experience events many times over giving them many steps ahead into the future and know how the events occur. They can edit or change any events to their liking and it makes them very difficult to kill as they can time travel back into the past or to the future. Ghost Rider used the time stone to tra time travel millions of years into the future and also travel back in time to kidnap baby Thanos. So the users can perform a causality hacks with the time stone and the user can also BFR people back into the back into the past. And the stone also grants the user resistance to time manipulation as Kronos' time hacks did not work on Thanos. Now moving on to the power gem. The power gem greatly increases the user's stamina, endurance, attack potency and destructive capabilities and gives them control over power. It also boosts the other gems making them more potent when combined and the user can also power null and strip people of their own power. Thanos was able to best Mephisto in his own realm and Mephisto is more powerful inside his realm and the power stone also amps the users um, depending on how much how much rage they have in them so they can amp themselves by giving themselves a rage amp and the stone amplifies it even more which is very impressive. 
The Mind Gem grants the user psy psionic powers such as telepathy and telekinesis. The Mind Gem is, a, is the collective unconscious which contains the mind of the entire universe. If the user happens to already possess telepathic powers, the Mind Stone also amplifies those already established powers. The stone gives the user many versatile abilities that telepaths can perform. And last but not least, the Soul Gem. The Soul Gem allows the user to manipulate souls in life. The Soul Gem itself exists on a higher plane of reality and it contains a metaphysical world inside of it, which is insane. It literally con contains a multiverse, which is crazy. The Soul Stone is able to steal the spiritual essence from people and it can BFR the souls inside the Soul Gem. The user will create a connection with the Soul Gem, granting them the memories, skills, and knowledge of others that the stone has absorbed. It can fire spiritual energy, which affects the soul, and it can also de-evolve people or revert them back from abnormalities. Okay, so overall, the Infinity Gauntlet is very powerful, and in terms of the stats and the feats, and depending on your interpretation of the Marvel cosmology, and where you have certain hierarchies and AP for the Infinity Gauntlet and the potency behind it. So if you lowball it, easily, outer versal, outer plus. The mid, high end stuff, easily, infinite hierarchies into high outer versal, if not boundless, easily boundless scaling for the Infinity Gauntlet. So those are the ranges that I have the Infinity Gauntlet at and what has been demonstrated for the comics. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for the content. But yeah, it's been real. See you guys in the next one.